Hey guys, Brother Steve coming to you again today. It's a beautiful day. The Lord's giving us and uh, I got up with just a little bit of thought on my mind and I felt like sharing it today. Uh, this may rub some of you the wrong way. This may make some of you mad. Might make some of you uh, uh, quit following me or or say something that you you know about it that you don't like. But uh, truth to truth and uh, church is always talking about we need revival. We need revival. And they preachers will preach upon things that's to do with the world. I just want to tell you today, if you want true revival to come in your church, then you need to start preaching on the sins of the church, those in the church. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. We got to be right inside the house before we can get those outside the house to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God we want to preach on certain things, certain issues, uh, uh, but we need to preach. Amen. Thank God when the Lord bids us, we need to preach upon adultery uh, of those inside the church. We need to preach about those, uh, amen, in the church that are cheating on their taxes, that are that are lying about things. Uh, we need to get them. Amen. Thank God. If we want true revival, hey, we need to start, amen, inside the house. Amen. Thank God. We need, Bible says, judgment begins at the house of God. We need to make sure, thank God, that we're all cleaned up inside the house of God before we start pointing fingers on the outside. If we want true revival, let's get the inside of the house cleaned up. Let's get us, let's get it cleaned up. Let's get those sins under the blood. Let's get the church's sins under the blood. Yep, that's what we're going to have to do. We cry all the time about the world doing this and the world doing that. Let's make sure the church, amen, is fixed up, is right. Is justification stuff ain't going to work. Let's make sure that we've got our sins under the blood. Let's make sure our church, our house, is cleansed of all sin. Let's make sure, thank God, that we've got it all fixed up. That's what I got for you today. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Let's work on the church a while. Blessings. Until next time, Jesus loves you. God bless.